Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, I want to share with you the best moisturizers that come with SPF as standard. I love a good hydrating sunscreen because I think it's a great way of getting like a two for one, combining steps in your skincare routine to minimize the time, the cost, and the number of products that you need to buy. Also, if like me, you have a super oily, acne prone skin type, a moisturizer sunscreen combo can be a really nice, lightweight way of getting that protection with a little meaningful hydration to boot. I've got a lot of product recommendations to get through. So sit back, relax, and let's talk the best hydrating sunscreens. Now, before we get into this video, I know what a couple of you are thinking. It's a little bit chicken and egg. What actually came first? Are we talking about hydrating sunscreens or moisturizers with sunscreen in? Honestly, does it matter? What we're celebrating in this video is those products that deliver maximum hydration and broad spectrum sun protection all in one product, helping you to streamline your skincare routine and giving you that gorgeous lightweight protection. Honestly, I found it game changing when I discovered hydrating sunscreens because often I would skip my moisturizer, but I would never skip my sun protection. Well, I don't have to when I've got it in a two for one product. Of course, this is an exhaustive list of all of the hydrating sunscreens on the market. So if you missed out a personal favorite of yours, sound off in the comment section below and let me you know I'm always grateful for your recommendations because they do really shape the products I try and review here on the channel in the future. Just promise me that whilst you're down there leaving your comment you'll also give this video a big thumbs up and a like. It's a great way of supporting me in the channel and I'm always so so grateful for each and every one of you that takes that moment out of your day to like the video because it really really does mean the world to me so thank you. Now I've got a lot to say so let's cut that waffle and delve straight on in. And first off let's very briefly touch on are you actually getting good sun protection if you use a moisturizer with an SP PF built in. Absolutely you are and the studies have proven that. However, there are a couple of things to call out. When we're talking about these products, you need to apply them as a sunscreen, not as a moisturizer. So make sure you're getting every last inch of coverage over the face. Don't miss out the areas that sometimes we are neglectful when it comes to our moisturizers, such as the ears or the eyelids. These areas need protection too. So apply these products like you would a sunscreen, not as a moisturizer, if that makes sense. Also, be mindful of the amount that you're applying. Sometimes we're super sparing with our moisturizers. Don't be. Apply these products lavishly they'll sink in they all have a beautiful texture on the skin that'll just give you that guaranteed maximum coverage i learned from dr dre who's one of my favorite content creators here on youtube that the best way to apply your sunscreen is with two thinner layers rather than one thick layer that definitely applies with these products i feel you get a better finish you get a better level of protection and it just means that you're guaranteed to give all that coverage because you get two swipes in case you do just miss one on the first pass so that would be like my top tip for using any of these products but when it comes to some of my favorites let me call them out let's start with this this is the beauty of joson rice relief sunscreen a lot of you might have already seen this coming but hands down the most gorgeously hydrating sunscreen I've ever tried. This has been tested in two different laboratories, one in Korea, one in Spain, and proven to be that SPF of 50 plus. And it's got a really nice broad spectrum filters in here too. If you see how that glides onto the skin, disappears without a trace, but leaves a really nice light amount of hydration behind. If you have a drier skin type, you might want to use a moisturizer under this, but even then, it's still a fantastic sunscreen in its own right. For people with combination or oily skin, this is all the hydration you'll need. This layers beautifully well on top of itself. So if you want to take that technique of applying two thinner layers, this is definitely a sunscreen that will allow you to do that. It's calming, it's soothing with that anti-inflammatory rice and just all around a ding, 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 holy grail that I would definitely, definitely recommend. Now let's call out this product, which is the Simple Triple Protect Moisture SPF 30. So this is an SPF 30, whereas the beauty of Joseon was an SPF of 50 plus. You need to bear that in mind. And I always say, choose a sun protection level and product based on your environment. What's going on around you? How are you gonna interact with the product? You need to take all of these things into account before you reach for a product. SPF 30 is great here in the UK for day-to-day -day use. And often you can find some great lightweight SPF 30s with that moisturizer built Built in. This is definitely one of those products. So it layers so well on the skin. I'd say though with this, a tip for applying it is be a little bit gentle with it. Don't be too vigorous with the rubbing because it can peel if you're too, too vigorous, but just gently pat it into the skin. It leaves behind a really nice level of hydration and some great SPF coverage too. This is slightly more hydrating than that Beauty of Joseon one. So if you have a slightly drier skin type, this is probably the one that I'd reach for. It's fragrance free, so suitable for a sensitive skin type. And if you see the finish, it gives on the skin. It's just beautifully dewy without being too glossy. An absolute holy grail favourite. Now a relative recent discovery and actually the inspiration for me wanting to create this video is this product. This is the PS Futures Bright Daily Defense Facial Moisturizer. Available here in the UK and Europe in Primark stores or online over in the North American market. This I love. 
four pounds. So if you want to do drugstore and super affordable sunscreen, this is one that I would recommend. It also comes in a great little applicator. I love the pump on this. So, so easy to use. Now, unlike the simple one, this does have some fragrance in there, but it's quite a nice watermelon scent, which honestly, I don't mind. Super lightweight, but I think it gives a medium level of hydration. This gives a much more dewy finish to the skin than either of the other two products I've mentioned. So if that's your bag, this product you will absolutely adore. And you know what? That fragrance is quite summery, it's quite uplifting, and it's got some great beneficial skincare ingredients in here too that are going to help to even out the complexion and also give some antioxidant protection alongside that SPF, which I love. For £4, I think the finish on the skin, the scent, and the way that it applies, this is definitely, definitely going to be one to check out. Now, one product you don't hear me mention on the channel that often is the COSRX Aloe Soothing Sun Cream. Now, I personally don't like the fragrance that comes with this product, which is why I don't reach for it. But if you want sky-high UVB, protection with a 50 plus SPF. This is a product that I would definitely recommend. It is so, so hydrating, but because it does have a small amount of alcohol in here, it glides and disappears into the skin like that. They use an awful lot of humectants and other hydrators to offset the drying impact of the alcohol. And what you're left behind with is a truly invisible sunscreen that also has a nice veil of hydration to it. This is definitely going to be a product for those that have a super oily or acne prone skin type, because I feel that it just applies truly invisible without leaving any film whatsoever. So if that's something you're looking for and you don't mind a little bit of fragrance to your sunscreen, this is probably a product that I would reach for. Lots of people call out and question whether this actually has the level of protection that the brand advertises. This is something which maybe, you know, two years ago during the Korean sunscreen scandal was called up a lot and I covered my thoughts and feelings in a video which I'll link up there. However, since then there has been a tweak to the formulation and they have put it through independent rigorous third-party testing so you can guarantee that this product is delivering you that locked-in SPF of 50+ alongside some great hydrating benefits, which is why, if you don't mind the fragrance, this is definitely one to check out. Let's keep with Korea and talk the Innisfree Hyaluronic Sunscreen. So this is a cult favourite of so many YouTubers and influencers. And honestly, I do get the appeal. It is very lightweight. It is super hydrating. But the only thing that stops me reaching for this is you don't get a whole lot of product for the price point. So that is something I like to be super drugstore with my sunscreens because I kind of feel that way we can be as lavish as we want to be without having that cost constantly in our mind. But if you like Innisfree as a brand, you like a good dose of hyaluronic acid in your skincare routine, and you want something that's super lightweight but has a meaningful mid-level of hydration, this product is going to be so, so good. I'll leave a link in the description box below to a video Cassandra Bankson did reviewing this product so you can see how it applies on the skin and what her final thoughts and feelings were on it. I think this is going to suit a more combination skin type. It's not light enough for those that are super, super oily and acne prone, and it's probably not hydrating enough for those with super dry skin. But if you're in between this could be the sweet spot sunscreen that honestly just delivers for you. Now I want to end on this product which is the Garnier Ombre Solaire Anti-Age Super UV Cream. Such a great product. Unfortunately, Garnier Ombre Solaire isn't accessible in the North American market due to some FDA regulations. But if you're here in the UK and Europe and you can get your hands on this, definitely, definitely try it out. So many beneficial skincare ingredients and the finish on this product is divine. It's got sky high UVA protection alongside UVB protection and if you want to know why that's important I covered it in a recent video which again I'll link up there so check out. Also I love the fact that and you can't really see it through the screen but they've tweaked their packaging. They use 49% less plastic in this and have replaced it with some cardboard which I love because we're all about being a little bit more environmentally friendly, sustainable and you can recycle this whereas you couldn't their previous one. So big tick in the box for that. How this applies is such a lightweight sunscreen. It is probably the most hydrating of all the products I'm mentioning today. So if you have a very dry skin type, this is the one that I'd recommend. It's fragrance free and but doesn't smell too chemically. And if you see how that applies to the skin, is that not just the nicest finish? There's no tackiness. There's no white cast. It's not super dewy, but it's also not deadpan matte. It's just that beautiful blend of everything you should look for in a sunscreen. If you can get your hands on this, it is definitely, definitely one to check out. Um, I think, I can't remember how much I paid for this. It's not the cheapest of the ones I've recommended today, but it's around like £12 here in the UK, but worth every penny because that finish alone is enough to make me want to reach for this product and it is so hydrating and nourishing and everything I look for in a sunscreen. So there you have it guys, a rundown of my favourite sunscreens with moisturising components, moisturisers with sunscreen, whichever way you look at it, hydration and sun protection 
all in one. I'm definitely looking towards hydrating sunscreens for my skincare routine because it allows me to streamline. And in 2022, I think, you know, a lot of us are now back to work, commuting into the office and all that good stuff that maybe we weren't doing for the past two years. So every second counts. So if you can streamline and simplify your skincare routine down, particularly in the morning, what's not to love about that? And hopefully these products will help you achieve that wherever you are in the world, guys. Stay safe, stay well, love your skin. Take care. Bye.